Welcome to the Shift Work Calendar Tutorial. This video shows how to quickly set up the calendar. First of all, we will create a new label. Press the menu button and select the Labels option. We can see three default labels. To create a new label, press the plus icon. Now, let's give the label a name. This is what will appear on the calendar. We'll also give a description. This is what is shown in the information bar and can be a bit more detailed. We can change the color of the label by using the colored palette. More colors can be found by pressing the primary colors and adjusting the slider. To move the new label, press and hold the label, then drag it to a convenient position. Repeat this process to create more labels. Existing labels can also be edited, however any labels currently being used in the calendar will be changed. Press tick to save and return to the calendar. Next we will construct a shift pattern. Press the menu button and select shift pattern. Here we can see all of our labels, including any new ones we have created. We'll give the shift cycle a name and call it my shift. Now we tap the labels in sequence to create our shift pattern. We'll create a shift pattern which is two days, two nights, and four off. We can press the backspace button if we make a mistake. Press tick to save and return to the calendar. We can now apply our shift to the calendar. Select the date we want our shift to start from, in this case, May 16th. Press the up arrow to open the label bar. Slide the key to unlock edit mode, if required. Now press the shift button. May 16th will be my first night shift, so I select this. Now select the end date. This can be days, months, or years in the future. Press tick to apply the shift pattern to your calendar which will keep repeating up until the specified end date, as you can see. Now, let's take some holidays. First, select a range of dates by double-tapping the start date. This will highlight red to indicate the start of the range. Single-tap the end date. All dates in between are now selected. Open the label bar using the up arrow. Select all, and this is now applied to the range of dates we selected. If a mistake was made, we can press the undo icon to undo the last action. We can also add events to the calendar. Select the required date and press the event button. Press create event. Here we can enter the event details such as the title, description, and start and finish times. Press the colored area to change the event color. We can also set a reminder. Press tick to save and exit. From here we can press PH to show a public holiday, or press the currency icon to highlight a payday. Press tick to save. The calendar now shows the color of our event, and the information bar shows us the event details we entered. And that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.